Hello Commanders and welcome to this video for Infinite Lagrange. Finally I am back here and can do another videos. A lot happened in these days and I will give you a brief overview what happened to me while I was on vacation. It is horrifying. So if you are interested in this stay till the end of the video. But Today we want to focus on the two items we got with the patch. We now have uh, the restoration points. Usually you only get them here at the development rating. You can see here the tech point restoration technology. And um, they are only valid for 14 days. So make sure if you get them that you use them within the next 14 days. Now. Maybe some of you are playing in the first season and you were not able to get any of these before. Maybe you in the second season and you didn't even know that you can buy these there. And therefore I want to go quickly into the basics or into the must know of using restoration points. First of all you can go to your blueprint and you can choose any blueprint with um, tech points. When we talk about tech points we mean the second number so we look here at the cv 3000 one means we have one variant of it um, the 24 means we put 24 tech points into this carrier and the zero zero after this means we did not get any um, experience points when we look at the solar veil we got 29 experience levels and therefore 29 experience tech points but we don't have any other tech points you can also click on this to get the overview what i just explained you and the number we're looking for are the tech points um, on the middle area these we now can reset this is very simple you go there, you see your tech points here, so 24, and you can select this circle thing here in the top right area to reset them. There will be a confirmation you can see here. I do have two tech point restoration technology items expiring in 13 days, and I would get 24 carrier tech points. And that is now the most important thing you have to understand what you can get back and what is the most valuable you can get back when we look about look, look into the different categories of ships um let's take a look at my let's say frigates and very quickly you will see i have 44 tech points in my noma um, i do have 51 tech points in the xeno stinger i have 43 in the carillion so i do have a lot of tech points in this lower class ships when we then go to the higher classes let me scroll up a little bit it makes it easier we will see it's getting quickly less i have 15 points in the wing Tuzar, 53 in the eldabra 51 in the guardian so still very good 51 in the Ceres. so destroyer and also frigates i do have a lot of points for the cruisers it already looks much much worse there's six points in the cast um, then we have to go up here, 6 points in the Jaeger, 46 in the Callisto, 30 in the Chimera. Compared to the tech points I have down here, this is significantly less. For the battle cruisers, it's getting even worse. There's nothing at the ST, at the Eternal, at the Spear. I have 20 points at the Constantine. And for the carrier we started here I have 24. So you can see you do get much more points over time for the lower class ships than you get for the higher class ships. And therefore if you have to reset something or can choose between higher classes and lower classes you should take the higher classes because these tech points are much much more valuable. Another point where we can see this is if we go to the research into the store there in the tech center we can see tech points for frigates 10 points cost 40 uh, 4 dollar 99 10 points for the destroyer cost 8.99 and for the cruisers we are already at 15.99 um that also reflects this so if you have ships of higher classes that you do not use anymore but invested a lot of tech points these should be your priority to reset as it will take you longer to get the tech points there 
the only other way you will get these reset items is at the end or at the beginning sorry at the beginning of each season starting with season two and um that's the first time i am aware of that we had a different source of these so these are valuable um you can keep them in your mail for some time i don't know if they will ever disappear i think these kind of emails will not disappear but as soon as you get them out of the mail you only have two weeks to use them so it's not like you can pick them up now and use them in two three months in the next season you will have to use them in a timely manner so where will i use them um I did put points in the CV3000. I still think the CV3000 is an amazing carrier. Unfortunately, I did not get um, the additional modules to really make it suitable. I could reset it. You can also reset something and don't assign the points somewhere else. They are just resets then. But if you don't assign them the next time you get a new point, you have to assign it somewhere again and then you start getting single points where it doesn't make sense to use a reset um, yeah, item. So I would not recommend you to do that. Um, focus on something where you can directly use them. The Battlecruiser, the Constantine, still my favorite ship so I will not reset this one. For the cruisers, Chimera and Callisto, both amazing ships but I start to use the Callisto less and less. Reason for this is that I started to focus on the aircraft heavy fleets and I just don't have the tech points, uh, the command points anymore to bring the Callisto into the fight. So I will choose the Callisto as one of the ships to reset, even if it is one of the best cruisers in game for damage. I will very likely start to reset this. So I will show you how to do this. You click on this item on the circle. You already have the consumable selected because there's no other way. And you click restore. And that's it. You confirm it and it's done. Now we can see my Callisto is at zero zero. And if I take a look at the Chimera, um, I now have additional tech points. Um, here at the tech points area at the plus I now can um, assign these free tech points as many as I want so I will not do that right now because I have to see where I put them into the Jaeger into the Predator I still try to get the um, Predator blueprint we will try this as soon as I'm finished here the second ship I want to reset let's take a look um will very likely be the Eldabra. Um it's a good ship, but I don't use it. The reason for this is if you didn't watch it, watch the video about the attack priorities and the fleet setups. Instead of the Eldabra, I usually always in all my fleet setups I will have the Carillion Special, which does a much much better job. And therefore I ended up not using the Eldabra in any of my fleet setups. I do use the Tundra now because I got the Tundra um, aircraft type version which is really really good. I have the Ceres already up, the Guardian is up, so I probably will reset the Eldabra, put the points into the Tundra to get my medium fleet, the fast one, um, really perfect. For the, the frigates, um, Noma is nice for healing, I would keep that. Here you see I have 5 points in the Railyard, 4 points in the Nubium. I would like to get these points, but it's not worth for me using one of these reset items. They are too valuable for this. Even the Ma Tranquil Tranquilatis, um, 15 points, it's not worth using it there. For the Corvettes, same thing. Um, the Void Elfin, I could reset that. I really could use these points for the Nebula Chaser and the Cellular Defender or the CVT-800. That's now the thing I have to think about. Where do I have um, higher benefits? Will I reset the Void Elfin or will I reset the Eldabra? Um, but yeah, let's. I will take a look at this sometime later. So 
summarized if this is the first time you get these points make sure you use them in a way that you reset a ship but can use the reset tech points directly so you really benefit from it second thing is reset the higher class ships first because the tech points from these are more valuable they are harder to get and um, do this within the next 14 or 13 days because after this these items will just disappear now as promised what happened to me i had my base set up very nicely oh god where was it somewhere here um close to close to the gate um and this was nice i had a good place there there um black range gate i was here but then um i was on vacation you already know that and while I was there, I got hit by a jet zone and the jet zone destroyed my base. Okay, not so bad. I got reborn somewhere in this, no, in this area here um, on the graveyard. And I made the video about showing you um, the different performance of the heavy fleet versus the light fleet by sending both of them in a heavily guarded um, data mining area here. Uh, this left me very vulnerable. As a result of that, I got attacked and my base got destroyed again. I ended up somewhere here in the graveyard. Luckily, I did have another outpost here. So the problem with all these destructions was every time my mining fleets came completely back. And now I do something that is probably very stupid again. I will show you my operation where I do have... Oh, sorry, I have to Ten, click four. that first. Ah, else we cannot see that. So, um, I will show you the operation where I do have my advanced mining platform. Very likely it will get destroyed within the next 24 hours then. So, the mining platform is here. There it is. And as you can see, all my miners are gone. At the first destruction, the problem with this mining platform was that there was... Oh, that's... Ah, that's a... Sorry, that's my second. My other mining platform already got destroyed. That platform was up here somewhere, I think. Um, the problem was my ships had to fly through this jet zone, which destroyed them every time. Um, we tried it in different ways. They were all in warp, but when they entered the jet zone, even with warp, they got destroyed. Now, the second time... Um, I moved my base then, I put my miners back, now my mining base as well as my base got destroyed. So now I am back here and the only remaining advanced mining platform I have here, which is also not really um, very full, is 4900 GM away. So if you do this, make sure you keep an outpost close to your advanced mining platform. So if you get destroyed, you can warp back there. You can put your mining fleet back to work because right now I am in a bad position. I will have really big problems getting away from here. In addition, um, I don't have much of a fleet left. Uh, the fleet got destroyed the first time I sacrificed it. Um, I got jets one time I got killed two times so five times um, I tried to rebuild it in between well, you can see there's not really much left I'm already trying to rebuild again but it's going now very slowly so I am not sure if I will be able to get back to all of this um, to make things even worse I had to leave my alliance because I was not active enough during my vacation and um, that makes me an even easier target because, yeah, now I'm um, open prey without protection. So let's see, I did start another research um, targeting. Let's, I can show you this quickly. Um, targeting the predator. 
So we have, we have it B, the technical version that carries the three info UAVs as well as the fighters. A really, really nice um, fighter carrier if you don't need large ones. At the same time, we have the chance to get the Marshall Cruise. Um, these are the only two ones I am really interested in. Everything else, not so much. Getting the Guardian would give me some tech points. That would not be a waste, so that's okay. Carillion tech points for the special types, that's also okay. Jaeger tech points for the Jaeger, that's also okay. So the worst case would be to get the Wing to Zar, because I don't need tech points on that one. So let's see that we get this time to zero. Research is complete. This is now my fifth research. And we will draw the blueprint. Let us see what will happen. The usual okay. <laughs> we got the Marshall Cruise. So that is great. Um, maybe I have to rethink. So let's take a look at the Marshall Cruise. Why is the Marshall Cruise so interesting? It carries by standard six large fighters. As soon as we do get additional modules for it, this thing is getting a beast. You can get so many ships inside there. It is surprisingly fast. Um, let's go to the blueprints. Because I do like the Solar Veil. I do have um, six corvettes, five fighters inside there at the moment. I already have skilled the uh, propulsion to a maximum and I'm only at 325 the basic is 250 this thing is not a whale this thing is a snail i can tell you that now the marshall cruise is starting with an amazing 400 speed that is really really quick and we still can increase the speed with a propulsion upgrade so um that's amazing you can get something relatively quick with that one um, increasing the primary um, weapon damage of carried aircraft by 15%. Also very, very nice. Um, we don't need to increase the damage of the main weapon. Um, if you get enough tech points, sure, you can do this. So overall, I think um, it will get very, very interesting. Um, after the battle begins, carried aircraft lock onto the same target in the first four rounds of attack. That will just kill the first four um, aircrafts that you attack. Or, yeah, very likely will attack aircraft because you're using fighters very, very quickly. Then we have the RTB, the usual one. Hit rate for fighters is always good. So, um, pretty nice. You probably will not need the evasion. Um, if you run fighters, most often the fighters you will run are already, yeah, hunter. <laughs> And um, yeah, so really nice one. I need to get an additional module to use it. But now it could be the option to reset the CV3000 and put these points into the Marshall Cruise. Continuing in the next season with exactly these kind of ships to get because I still want to get the tactical version. And if I have the chance to get an additional module, that would always be perfect okay so um yeah with this i will already stop the video for today you see i do have a lot of work to do i have to rebuild everything i have to get my miners back to work um not an easy task for now i hope you guys had a better time but i wanted to make a video and um yeah just report back i hope you will like that video Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channels. I promise to make more videos now on a more regular base. So I hope to see you soon again.